Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Blender tutorial today we're here once again on Blender 2.8 and this time we're going to tell you guys how to make um day and night in Blender which is pretty cool um if you guys don't know I have been making a project about Siren Hat like uh lately already uh many of you guys probably saying like why are you making Siren Head? You didn't even tell us. I thought you were making the, like, Minecraft, like, animations and stuff. But, um, guys, Minecraft 1 is, like, not really that, like, um, easy to make. I couple, I made a couple of, like, weeks already. Not a couple of weeks, maybe, like, a couple one or two weeks already but it doesn't go too well and i feel like it's just not the idea to do and it's not like too perfect as well i i don't know i'm sorry but i think it's delayed for now i will come back for that when i was finished with siren head project and if you guys don't know what siren head is all about um i'll tell you guys maybe in the Reveal tra trailer like when I say what happens and what happens and also behind the scenes if I record the first like animation but uh, and also the day and night difference I also made uh, make and blender for like in my animation and it's like pretty cool and one of the major parts of my animation and these are some cartoonish trees or low poly trees that I found in the internet um which is pretty cool just so you guys know these are cool tree models thank you for the creator and um these trees we're gonna make them atmospheric first we're gonna tell you guys how to make days um in the day one it's kind of like a review for uh maybe the few videos like last few videos but um now i'm just going to cycles because if you want a day one, I suggest you using um, Cycles and GPU Compute because that's pretty good. Um, and in viewport, 32 is fine, right? So um, when I click in the rendered mode this time, everything will become like very, very dark and not that clear, like exactly. Um, and if we open the world properties, we will see like uh, ambient occlusion, which makes everything brighter. And when we select that, it will be way better. And ambient occlusion is simply adding lights all around. And for now, we have ourselves some um, like a cool texture. Um, and then you will find out why is the sky all dark? I don't want that, right? So what you will do is to um, go to the color selection uh, under the surface of the world. Click um, first, you can try like different colors here, but these are just like single colors and no like really um, textures. Uh, the thing you want to change this to maybe a photo or HDRI is to oh, click on the little a circle here and then select environment texture. So then, uh, at first, everything will become pink, and you don't want that to happen, right? So, uh, click on the open image and select, um, oh god, sky texture. I open a file here. Simply, all these photos are HDR eyes, and these photos, um, are the best I have ever found. So, for now, like, you see the sky being, like, blue, and these, um, places like pretty cool and now this is simply the day one and we also want some like a sunlight i guess but you can also add some mists if you want which if you don't uh know how to make mists you can look at my mist tutorial which is pretty important if you want a perfect scene so yeah like that um uh, by the way if you do that and then you open the um, like the render tab like nothing happens right nothing happens not even a single thing you don't want that to happen right so click on the light bulb thingy and select the color maybe to like slightly yellow so it could be like kind of the sunlight and um we want to make the strength higher so we can see it which it might be eight so eight is fine when we click in the render tab things will be pretty co cool out here this is like a noon or something but 
if we uh you see these like shadows are too like to the left you can just select like maybe make uh make the sun rotate which is you can click these tabs over here to select this is for move this is for like rotate scale transform and blah 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 so like that you will have a perfect day scene and if i add my camera where's my camera okay here's my camera what okay so this is a camera and if i kind of zoom in on this like and um we will maybe the viewport 100 this is just to um, reduce the quality and make it um, like kind of quicker. And this one, maybe not 100%, 79%. Now, if we render this image, um, it will go kind of slow. But while it's rendering out, let's make the night scene. And of course, we're going to um, start off by deleting everything we added so far. And... Um, Let's see, wait, let me see if my OBS is on. If my OBS isn't on, I will be so mad. And this is just a short tip video, so I don't expect this to be too long. And we click back to material tab. This is a uh, wireframe material text. Is this text? No, I don't see this text here. It's like viewport shading, which is solid. And this is rendered, so. By the way, guys, I'm not too good in Blender. I only learned Blender for like what, uh, like a month and a half or something. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even learn Blender for any like I don't even know. And this is the render image. I mean, pretty cool, right? We can also add some trees here to make it like pretty, like a forest over there. But for now, this is pretty good. And um, uh, first we're gonna do is to go to the this tab and delete this one i guess so it's still on um environment texture and also we're gonna turn off the ambient occlusion because this one is for night and for now things will be different and you don't want the sun anymore so delete it uh, so the retail and for the night i suggest you guys using eevee because not eevee eve because you don't really need to see everything clearly in the night i think eve is definitely quicker and it's pretty good so also i use nights a lot night a lot in my siren head animation which i'm still making i made like low poly version which is using these trees and stuff um i think that's a little bit copywriting but i don't know anyway so we're gonna see the uh go to the eve one and for now we're gonna add a mist to add some atmosphere also you can add mist here um which will make it way better and this is our rendered image it's pretty cool and this is for the day one so now let's render the night and see how it looks like uh first if you want a dark atmosphere don't select the day one because um uh, because the strengths will be high and I choose like um, a night one uh, in HDRI. Like you can just search HDRI and the uh, oh god and the singy. Oh my goodness, what happened to me? What happened? No. Oh god. Yeah. We just. I don't know what happened to my image. Oh my god. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, I don't even know what happened. It's two like one. Oh my god, holy moly cannoli. What happened to my Oh god, that is so weird. So um I don't know what happened. Um yeah, let's go back to Evers and then we want to um, maybe I'll still go to cycles I guess cycles for the long meanwhile let's just select the starry night one and for now it's super dark so we can um, add the strings up so I'll make it like um, bright and for now things are going well I guess Yep, so now it's already a night scene, and you guys can see only adding, changing the background is good already. So, actually, we don't need to do anything anymore. Um, this is already pretty good. 
um like we can also add a mist now if we want it to be like really dark so s to scale it up and by the way let me open my screencast keys very quick so yeah you know, now you guys can see what i'm doing s to scale it up and we can um open this tab and drag it up like this and then we're gonna s x to move it in the x axis um which i need to make it shorter like that and y axis to make it wide and the y axis and you don't want to cover the treetops and stuff because you don't want everything to be covered with um fox like usually you don't cover the treetops which i found is interesting and um uh, next you will found this is a giant default cube what do you want what's a giant default cube are you crazy i mean no i'm not obviously and um now we're gonna change this cube to a fog so first we're gonna actually i i did a tutorial on this just so you guys know so um you guys can see that anywhere and first in the surface one we want to select the remove and everything will be black you'll see like why did you put everything into black are you crazy again the answer is no um so we're gonna go to the volume one and select volume scatter and um and why are you d making everything foggy and black are you crazy <laughs> again no <coughs> and um I want to make the density down to 0, 0.0, maybe not 10, 10 is a disaster, 0 0.008 maybe, yeah, so a little fog, and we want to change that a little bit to blue, so we kind of make an atmosphere, and let's go to the render uh, tab and see what happens next, maybe, oh god, see there's like a little fog, which is not a fog. Three, maybe. Oh, God. This is horrible. Yep. So now you will see, like, nothing changes almost. Like, it's the exact same scene almost. And you don't want that to be happening again. So many people seem to stop here, I guess. Um, and the next thing we want to fix this error is to shift A. It's not actually an error. It's just to make it go. And sun will make the fog react. It's like how the, oh, uh, what is it called? Like the, I'm not too good at chemistry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember what I'm saying. Like the, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I'm so bad at this. Oh, God. I remember some like chemistry, like element. They kind of react to each other and make, like iron and um, oxygen. They collide and the iron become rust. So, yeah, I am dumb. Am I? A little bit. <laughs> So, um, what we just this time we're gonna leave the color the same color as this and like the white one, the default white, and we're gonna put the strings to four. And now, if we go to the render tab, we will see the smoke work not the smoke, the fox working. And this is a little bit too bright, it's like the alien like flying or something. So, we gotta turn this off to uh, like two. Oh, yeah. This look way better. And also the sky is too bright. Which we need to turn it off a little bit. Maybe something like this. Yeah, this, the fog is so big. It's so small, I mean, I'm sorry. 0 0.05? Yeah, so we just mess around with it until it look really like a um, dark atmosphere. Which will be pretty cool. And we're gonna make this even down to maybe like 0. 0.5. I don't know. We want to make a really dark atmosphere. No, that's too dark, is it? Can we just scroll this like to maybe something like 7? This is so hard. Seriously. Something like 6 is fine, right? Something like 6. Yeah, this looks fine. So now if we render our image, which let me first get to this first. Can we make the fog like um a little bit purple? Yeah. Something like 
this may be in the dent like that yeah something like that look pretty good and we just go with this okay we just go with this this is a pretty good night scene and it's pretty good so now if we add a camera and uh take a photo of this i mean it will gonna be a long journey again but not too long because wait I'm, I'm still on cycles usually you want to eve but for me cycles is also fine and we can just f12 to render the image and uh oh yes are you still on thank goodness okay um yep so now it's rendering pretty slow the thing you want to make it quicker because i want a perfect image is to uh make it like e or make the render even lower which is like a disaster but it will be like really unclear but the other thing you can do is make the resolution like down as well but that will also um like destroy the frame rate or the frames not the frames yet um like the what is it called like the picture i guess i'm like i don't even know how to say a picture i don't even know and maybe in the next tutorial i can teach you guys how to make a keyframe which is gonna be pretty cool and this is just a short tutorial for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next video Bye bye